I'd suggest probably you are too. Is that a coincidence or something that's happened by chance or you worked on? Or? Uh, I think the first six months of me being the job was a tough six months. It would have been for anyone, actually. I mean, there was a lot going on. Uh, I came from a from a um, previous job, which I loved, to a new job, and, and there was a lot going on. So, and my personality, I take a lot. I want to know exactly what's going on. So you you don't sleep much because you're working a lot, and. Uh, and we weren't getting the results. I mean, you remember that 12 months ago, we came here and got beaten 5-0 by England. And it was probably a real wake-up call for where we're at. Um, what I can say is I, I've been very proud of the progress of the players in the last 12 months. I think about someone like Kane Richardson, who I sat with at Old Trafford uh, after the T20 game last year, and I never thought he'd play cricket for Australia again. I didn't think he had the bottle, and we talked about it but how he has come, and you see he is having a red-hot dip here. Everything he does, whether it's at training, he's talked about it amongst the group that he wants to, you know, he doesn't want to play scared cricket. He wants to be an Australian cricketer. So just, he's a great role model for our players to come from where we were 12 months ago. He's standing tall and he's having a go. So, um, And we've won some games too, Pete. I mean, let, let's face it, I mean, I'm a, call me a bit sad, but I used to say, you probably heard me say this before, when I was a player, you know, I've got a beautiful wife and a beautiful family and a bit of money in the bank and I drive a fancy car and I've got nice food on the table. I don't make any runs, I'm miserable. It's the same with it. You can have all this nice stuff, but if you're not winning, then it's, it's hard. It's a hard environment to be in. So we've won a few games. There's a good feeling. I was just saying to the guy, you've heard me say it, there's a, I can't remember so much laughter in a squad for, for a very long time. So and that's a good sign. There's good spirit in the squad bit of confidence. Um, and I also said before that whilst the last few months counts for nothing, it counts for everything. Because when we start in the first game, it doesn't really count for anything because we've got to play that game as well as we can, but we've got some good confidence in each other, we've got good camaraderie, and that will hold us in good stead when the uh, big lights come on. Try since I've been here, I've heard talk about, you know, we've got to love each other and look after each other and support each other. Was that a message that went around the group before you came here? Or was it just something oh, I've said that organic? since day one. Yeah, I've said yeah. that. Yeah, I've said it. I think it's, that's the most part, important about leadership is you care for people and you, that's so important and you give them a lot of love. So, and, and that's just straight up and that's very important. Whether you're a father or you're a coach, you got to make people feel like they're part of it, to help them feel part of it, and help them work towards helping themselves to be the best players again, helping us to be on the best team we can be. Hey, well, you must be pleased too, I guess, by the form that Steve's shown in the last couple of games and these wild games coming up. Oh. We all know it's going to be about him. And those oh, yeah, well, that, that puts a smile on your face. You've got Steve Smith batting like that. Uh, Dave's back in the team. Um, Orby's having a fitness test tonight, and... Uh, Mitchell Starts come back in the side. Pat Cummins is a world-class player. We've got plenty of some real class in this squad. And I know, again, I've said this for a long time, to win tournaments, to win trophies, you've got to have class. And we've got some class in this side. Zone so Steve's one of those. What's the fitness test involved for Dave? Oh, he's going to have a field. We're going to field first, and he'll just see how his glute pulls up. So he feels he's OK batting. Running between wickets, straight lines, it's not too bad, but going side to side, he's getting this trouble in his glute. So a very minor strain, had a scan, had a minor, it's just a minor strain, so we'll just see how he pulls up. Just, uh, you spoke about how you, you would be miserable if you didn't get runs. When and how did you learn to deal with it? When and how did you start dealing with it, and how did you learn dealing with that feeling, being miserable? <laughs> I think you get better at it, but it's um, it's just part of the business we're in, actually. You get judged whether we like it or not. You get judged whether you win or lose, or if you make runs, you don't make runs. And I've been doing it for a long time. But it's still, that's just the, the business we're in. That's I've always said about the, the media, for example, it's an industry, and if you do play well, people will say nice things about you. If you don't play well, people won't say nice things about you. And if you keep it that simple, then... It helps you deal with it a bit better. You don't take it so personally. But at cricket, you do fail more than you succeed, don't you? Oh, yeah, you do. Absolutely. And you, you find perspective. You understand over time.
that you you can't be you can't be up all the time. You're not down. It doesn't rain forever. That's for sure. So um, that just comes from perspective, experience, and wisdom, I guess. Now, can I go on, on that earlier point about speed? With this technique, and it's so different, so unique. Was, were you at all concerned that it might take him, I guess, a bit longer to get back to his best than what we saw like, before? No, I was never ever worried about um, his batting. A bit like Dave, I'm, I'm not worried about their batting. I was wondering how they'd come back into the team, how they're going to deal with, we saw it at Hampshire, we just talked about it before, the uh, reaction. I was a more worried about them personally and how they're going to come back in it than their batting. I mean, Steve Smith literally thinks, he's got a mastermind and he thinks about batting all the time. So I was never worried about his batting. That doesn't mean he's going to do well this World Cup. It might not make any, another run for the rest of his life, but I'm not ever going to worry about his batting because he, that's what he thinks about. That's what he's looking to master every day of his life. You mentioned um, Kane just before there and, and how far he's come. What did he actually have to change from that game at Old Trafford? Oh, just belief in himself, actually. I honestly think it was just believing in himself. He's a really talented athlete. He's got great skills. He can. He's a, he's a beautiful athlete. He can field well, he can catch well. But when you're just holding back a little bit, you tell, oh, maybe I won't go for that because I don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. But now he's having a dip and he's having a red hot crack at it. And it's just, you, know, you get to this level. There's so many distractions. It's so hard. If and if you're not going a hundred percent, too hard. He's going a hundred percent now, and I got great respect for him for that. Well, he's brilliant, isn't he? 20 years old, he's got... Feels like he's been around forever. We know we're going to have to work hard against him. We've, the, the best thing about a lot of our guys have played him before. You always worry about these sort of bowlers if you haven't seen much of them before. Again, we have to be at our best. We have to be sharp early against him. Um, he's, he will be carrying us a lot of weight of the team. Um, but that said, he's, you know, he's played all around the world now. He's seen the best. He's bowled to the best. He's a no doubt a danger man for this game. What did I say the other day? No. <laughs> None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm not sure yet. I, I did say I did say when that wicket you watch that's going to be a trend everyone's going to start bowling spin to england first up but they ended up getting 307 didn't they so you know we know when we play england whether we bowl spin early or, or quicks early we're going to have to be on top of our game like every other team in the competition